Mitch, you guys got down by as many as 40 points. What was going through your mind at that point? That just doesn't happen very often for this program. <clears throat> yeah, um, obviously that's a, that's a lot of points. And when you get down by them that much, it's just about uh, engine back and winning every, every four minutes. And I think uh, the guys that were out there, especially towards the end of the game, really, really put some fight out there and put some heart into it. But um, obviously we have to do that for 40 minutes or you can be down by 40. Um, they're halfway through the second half. So um, we definitely showed some fight, I think, um, with, with certain people in there. And um, we just got to continue to work with that and look at the film at what we did wrong and get ready uh, for Friday. Jeff Patrikas. Dimitrik, uh, two, two parts. Um, as a leader on the team, what disappointed you most about the way the team played tonight? And what's most important between now and Friday, if you guys get to get back on track, because you know Rutgers is going to come out and challenge you, much like Michigan did. Definitely. Um, obviously, Rutgers is a, re is a really good team, um, especially playing at home and being an area that we haven't we haven't won um, at yet. Uh, obviously, they're going to come out with some energy, but I think a lot of the areas that we need to work on tonight was that they came out with a lot of energy, a lot of fight. Um, they came out aggressive, and we kind of got pushed back on our heels, and we never responded to the correct way and the way that we wanted to. And I think um, to tip my hat to Michigan, they're a great team, obviously. And um, they came out with a lot of fire and passion, especially on the defensive end. And they got stops when they needed it too. And we, we couldn't get stops from the, from the jump. Let's go to George. Meach, after this game in the locker room or, you know, you guys talking amongst yourselves on your way back to the hotel, what, what was the message from leaders and just amongst you guys? Yeah, I mean, one of the great things about basketball is you got quick turnarounds. So you can't really, you can't hang your head um, for too long. We got to watch the film, get better. Um, you're ready to, to bring guys with us. I know a lot of guys um, struggled and are a little bit down after, after tonight, obviously you can talk about it for an hour or so, but we got to get back to the, to the drawing board and um, be ready for a really good Rutgers team that plays really well at home. So um, if we, if we want to have even a chance, um, to win at Rutgers. We got to come out with some energy and some passion and some fight from the very beginning. Larry, if you can unmute. Yeah, hey, uh, Michigan's the first team to beat three ranked teams by 19 plus points. After watching what they did on film and then seeing them in person, how are they doing this? Um, well, they're a really good team. They're, they're coached very well. Um, and then they have a lot of players. They have playmakers on both ends of the floor, a lot of guys that can get up and run the floor, a lot of shooters, they, they space the floor really well and they're, they're very disciplined in what they need to get accomplished. And um, it, it just shows, obviously, you don't beat three ranked teams in a row um, on accident um, by more than I think it was 19 points that I saw on Twitter. But uh, yeah, got to tip your hat to them. They, they, they're a really good team. Um, we get to play them again. Um, and like I said, we can't hang our hat too long after this. Um, we got to get ready for Friday. We had a couple more quick. Josh, go ahead. Meeks, did you feel like you guys had struggled have, being consistent offensively over the last couple of games and that sort of – it just exacerbated itself tonight with how good Michigan is when you guys kind of got into a slump against a good team? It just made that we get that much bigger? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think – well, obviously, um, the scoring says it all, especially there in the, the start of the, the second half and the late in the first half, I think, um, showed that – uh, we have some lapses in our offense and we need to figure those out sooner rather than later um, and figuring out where to, where we need to put guys, where we need to get guys the ball and where we can be best at our best um, on the offensive end and continue to exploit that. We'll take two more, Jim Polzine and then Jeff Petrigas. You talked about kind of um, not matching Michigan's urgency. Uh, it's, it's one thing to miss shots or have defensive breakdowns, but does that bother you the most? Is that you're, you, a couple of times now, Maryland being the other time where you just haven't matched the other team's intensity? Yeah, and that goes from the very beginning of the game. I think we came out, we hit a couple shots early. We were matching their kind of scoring intensity, I would say. But from what they wanted to get done on the defensive end, I think they were just a step ahead of us. And their bench was a little bit more energized and you, you could feel that energy. And um, obviously the refs did let us play on both ends of the floor. So... Um, we can't be mad about not getting no calls or anything like that, but um, we just got to come out, especially on the defensive end, with the urgency that Michigan did tonight. 
Last one from Jeff Patricus. Yeah, Dimitri, about their defense, you know, your head coach talked before the game about that they're tough to score on, get to the rim, their length. What problems did their defense present you guys, especially during that stretch where it went from a three-point to a 17-point deficit? Mm -hmm. um, well, obviously, they pressure the ball really well. Um, they get in passing lanes. They get steals. They make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, and I think they did a great job of um, doing that throughout the whole entire game, and that kind of made some of uh, some of us uncomfortable at times. And um, we've had some timely turnovers, um, and I'll, I'll take blame for a couple of those there in the, the set, there the end of the first half. But um, it's part of the game, and we just got to continue to work on, especially on the defensive end. It's about getting stops, and um, yeah, Michigan's a, Michigan's a really good team, especially on the defensive end. And we just got to figure out a way to to score a little bit easier and make our um, everybody around us better.